Hello everyone, welcome to Liberable and welcome to a new video here on Liberable, episode 2 of Project 2ZZ. We start by removing drive shafts, radiator and the exhaust manifold in order to remove the engine from the engine bay. This 20-valve engine is for sale with gearbox and dictator management system for 15,000 Rand. You guys can message me on Instagram or on Facebook. The exhaust is also for sale of this car. Once all that is done, we can start strapping the motor up for removal. Now that the engine bay is free of an engine, it's the best time to clean. We want to see what the clutch is like on the motor we bought from Get In Gear. So let's move the clutch and inspect for any damage if it needs to be rebuilt or replaced. Chat to me about the clutch. Chat to me. So, pick these hot spots. As you were explaining now, you are on the mm. flywheel and on the flywheel itself. But I think we can. It doesn't get away with it. Yeah. Can get away with but that. It's still fine, yeah. It's still fine. Yeah. It's, still fine. So it's not gonna hurt for us to pull the motor out again if it needs a clutch. Mm. Like, let's see what we can get away with with this clutch. And and Take it from the that's a ZD. Yeah. Ah, it's a good clutch. So this motor wasn't driven lightly. It was still rough, man. <laughs> anyway, my dad's pulling the branch off now. And then we are basically gonna strip the motor of its loom. Um once the motor's been stripped off of its loom, we're gonna wash the motor down, get it all nice and clean. Um bolt up the gearbox, the clutch again, and then drop it into the car. So, let's get rolling. Really happy that my brother and father over at ASQ Replica or your ASQ Replica was able to perform this engine swap so competently. Um, I'm really impressed with what they've done here. Um, my brother, you know, we try and save as much money as we can, trying to get this motor in and we can keep the budget low because if that budget goes too high, the car becomes too expensive to resell. Um, we are really sitting on 100k um, for this car. So we're probably going to go over that um, on the on a few things, but that's going to be a beautifully built 2ZZ Corolla. Um, now, let's explain what was done this week. I had quite a lot to do between getting the motor mount in and also the motor going in, so I wasn't here too much this week. Um, actually, I was here a lot. Um, I was quite a bit, but I wasn't here when it came to just welding that. Um, mounting up. I had to source quite a lot of other things for the bolt, which is why I wasn't here. So I managed to get the, I'm going to turn the camera around now, but off me. Managed to get the Ranix shifter. So this is going to go in place of that shifter over there, because my brother's one is broken, as you can see, so not going to work. And I had to source I had to also go and do a lot of, my brother and I had to do a lot of research for the exhaust system. So Mr. Wafik 
from Steel Solutions is going to grace him uh, his hands. Or well, not grace, he's gonna grace us with his uh, uh, mandrel exhaust from here all the way to the back of the car. And that means that the car coming off this, the exhaust, the car coming off this car, the exhaust coming off this car, I don't know if you can see it, is for sale as well. Probably, obviously, not that much money. Um, I had to source good tires of the car, got a few quotes in, bloody hell tires are expensive, like a grand aside for um, the car, did not expect that, I thought 15 inch tires were like like uh, six, seven under the ram, but I think that time is gone now, um, and then we had to also figure out the fan belt, so amongst that we had to buy oil, oil filter, spark, you were naughty, that's why you were at the back, because you ran out this morning, shh, I'm filming now, Shh. No? Anyway. And then original mounts are up over here, here, and at the back of the engine. We managed to get. Oh, there's a lot of dogs walking here in front now. My friend came to show. Uh, one of my friends, but Ashley's friend came to show them his Rottweiler. So, this mount here is welded. We used the original bolt that came with a 20 valve here. Cut that off. Spaced it up a little, uh, welded a bracket here on, this is going to be removed now and then welded the bottom to the base plate over there. So again, this build is not only about checking what is going to cost, oh, I must going to cost, but trying to make the build not that expensive. I managed to get the brake, the, the clutch layer cylinder on and that's all bolted up. Uh, the injector rail, where is the injector rail? Injector rail is way over here. So these Runnexes or 2ZZ engines don't have a return. What we're gonna do is to make this better, we're gonna drill a hole on the other end of this. They asked what Fiki we can fit us a eh? fitting over here, a fuel fitting, right? Then we can regulate the pressure using this Tomei pressure regulator if you run a non-returnless system it makes tuning and stuff tricky and the owens also seem to run bearings and stuff like that to these cars once they don't run a return system so the plan now is when the car gets back from wafik which will be probably only thursday or friday we have to put the cables up over here to make sure we're getting first second third fourth fifth and sixth in the reverse we have to put oil in this motor, we have to put the radiator on, make sure the radiator hoses are lining up. We also have to put an induction kit on this car. So one of the things with the induction kit, right? Because this car is going to have the battery over here, we'd like to locate the battery to the boot, but the truth be told, I don't think my brother um, is listening to do that now. Take this pipe out here, all the way to the back over here, because this bonnet's going to be lifted, and we should be able to get, what's the word, um, airflow like that into the induction kit. The other option is to run it here down, but our biggest fear is water and water intake into these uh, engines so we must just see how we feel about that so we'll figure out the, the system but i know these Ranexes or two zz motors like a long uh, intake pipe if i'm not mistaken correct me if i'm wrong in the comments below so yes we've been very very busy uh, injectors are going for cleaning as well i think we'll be doing that ourselves very easy to clean injectors just so by the way and we should be ready to go with this build in three weeks from now. I think three weeks from now the car will be driving tuned and hopefully ready to hit uh, 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 a bit of um, racing. My video of my car is a bit delayed. Um, the spray paint, the car's at paint work at the moment. It's taking quite long because um, Brent is very busy. But not long that, like I complain, it usually takes about this long to spray a car. But I understand also that I have to film it and stuff, so Brent can't do certain things. I have to be there to film a few things as well. The Liberable app is also coming very, very soon. So, yeah, big delays that side as well. I think my whole life is full of delays at the moment. So, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this installment of the second iteration of the engine going into the engine bay. Um, again, it was quite a messy week, so I couldn't film all the nitty gritty. But as you can probably see, it's very simple with this mounting over here. Nothing like to, 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 to stress your head 
over. Part three will be the exhaust system and part four will be start up and wire up the management system and all those other good things. Thank you all so much for watching. Be free with you. Love and